Are we ready? We're ready. All right. So tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do a salt shaker. So, project. But when I first started making these, I didn't put the little bird on the top. I couldn't sell them for anything. They, they look kind of like sea urchins. So this is a bisection of what it looks like. The salt is stored here. So this is the this is the bath, and I'm opening to this diameter. Now I'm going to split the clay. So part of the clay is going to be the little funnel, and the rest of the clay is going to be the globe. So I dive straight down, and you see I've I've left the majority of the clay to my right. I was doing a lot of like really dark raven work and then I started to kind of feel like wow half the stuff in the gallery has a, has a raven on there <laughs> maybe it's time I'm mixing up a little bit so um, everybody seems to like cats but the birds really are, are the probably the easiest to do I, I do fish as well And sometimes you can define what it is by what colors you use on it. You don't have to spell it all out. Just like a few lines. Our, our brains want to make sense of whatever it is. It's like, what is that? And we're trying to define what it is. It's just like that with drawing too. You know, if you, if you draw every line all the way, it looks uh, contrived. Whereas if you hide and seek then the brain, the person's brain, fills that in and makes it look right. It's really strange. <laughs> 